Hi, I'm Sandra Villinger and I'm the AVG expert for performance. Uh, I help create products to clean up, speed up and power up your PCs, your laptops, your Macs, your uh, Android smartphones and tablets. So today I'd like to show you how to clean up your iPhone or your iPad Air or your iPod Touch with AVG PC tune-up. Every time when you use an app such as Facebook or WhatsApp or Spotify, it creates these files that you may not need anymore. And those are temporary files that are created by the app in order for it to run. But the thing is, when you're not running the app, you may not need these files anymore. So let's clean up your phone or your iPad right here and right now. And I've got my iPad Air here. So let's just plug it in to the USB of my PC. So what you see here is AVG PC tune-up and we are in the cleanup category right here. So let's start the AVG cleaner for iOS. The first thing it's going to do, it's going to scan your device for uh, temporary files. And what you're seeing right here is that my iPad Air has already collected 388 megabytes. So what we can do is we can click on, we can actually clean it up right now by clicking on the clean up button, or we can go to the show details view to actually find out which app has created the most clutter on your iPhone or iPad. So in my case, I guess I'm listening to a lot of Spotify right here. Um, Spotify actually downloads a lot of uh, songs for offline caching and it keeps them around even though you've probably listened to the songs already. So what we can do is we actually clean up that clutter. So the other bit that could be that could consume a lot of uh, storage on your device or actual system logs or crash reports. So basically whenever an app crashes on your phone or when your phone or iPad reboots all of a sudden, it creates these massive crash reports that just sit there on your device and don't get deleted. Now also AVG Cleaner for iOS removes these files. So let's get rid of them right now by clicking on the Clean Now button. Now, I actually recommend to use that tool on a regular basis. So for example, I use my iPad Air and my iPhone a lot. So like every other week or so, I'm able to actually clean up 200, 300 or 400 megabytes of worthless files. So it may be worth running that every other week.